what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel it's your girl and push gem if you're new here i dropped the jewels cancer you guys are up for your first half of january 2021 love reading cross watchers you are welcome but this is for cap uh listen to me you might be dealing with a capricorn but this is for cancer sun will rising and venus so we're gonna get straight into it. oh yeah if you guys want to book a personal all that's below and again of course i appreciate it guys for the likes comments shares and subscribe so Cancer, I see where you guys are out of a relationship. You're coming out of one. You you like finally put, or you still got to put the final nail in a situation. Um, you are separating from someone, but I feel new energy. I feel like this reading will be based upon like mostly like new energy. There's a new love in your life, or someone trying to make their way towards you. I'm not quite sure how you feel about this person. Like if you're really open to this person, or if you're just like not really looking for love because you just came out the situation i feel like you're really focused on you a lot you know and just healing okay and getting yourself together but um yeah let's get into it so spirit we thank you as we yeah loving yourself first here underneath the deck spirit we thank you as we come in for our cancers what are the messages yeah so I feel like you guys are like in some unrequited, you are unrequited situations, okay? And I feel now it's just a time where you're like focusing on yourself and, you know, taking care of your family, healing family issues or whatever it is. But there is somebody who is trying to come in or somebody who wants to come in and work with you, be with you. All right, Cancer. So you guys got religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So whoever this person is, I feel like you guys also like meet each other on a spiritual level. I feel like the reason why you and your last relationship probably didn't work was because of spiritual factors here. Also, you could have been dealing with a karmic situation. And I feel now you probably have like your true love, true soulmate, a counterpart or whatever trying to come in for you right now. Okay. I feel like a lot of you also are embarking and walking on your spiritual paths right now. Like really, um, like I said, focusing on you understanding, you know, your life purpose, what it is that you are out here to do, you know, learning your lessons, healing through everything, okay? I'm also seeing spiritual baths, so some of you probably got to get some of your protection on, get your protection up. Um, we do have a new moon getting ready to come up soon, guys, I believe on the 13th. So, you know, set some intentions because the new cycles are rolling in, okay? Especially if you, and it's not even if, like, I feel like majority of you, a lot of you have cut off people from your past, okay? Underneath your deck, you have let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others, okay? Especially if you got to make that move, ask your friends, ask your family. You'd be surprised who'll be there to support you. Don't feel like you have to go at things alone, okay? So, all right, we're going to get two cards from the Love Oracle. One for you, one for your cross watcher here. Like I said, you're healing, you're working on you, you're elevating, Okay. But yeah, this new person, there's new energy. Somebody wants to come in and date you. They want to take you out. They want to get to know you. Like I said, I'm not quite sure how open you are to this right now because you are healing yourself and working on, you know, the next thing you want to do in life. I feel like you're at a point where you're tired of um, feeling used or whatever or giving so much to people. That's probably what was going on with the last person. Like, you know, they probably just like used you up, you know, for all your energy, your love and affection. It was unrequited. It wasn't really reciprocated that much in the last relationship here. Okay. Yeah, you, re you recognize and realize in that last relationship that that was a twin flame and that you can do bad by yourself. So you're focusing on your own abundance, but you have this new love. I feel that this is the energy of the new love that's trying to come in. <clears throat> so, Cancer. Let's get the cards here. So I was going to try to make them short and sweet. So you have healthy choices. Yeah, making healthy choices in love and in life. Self-love, self-care, and being happier. That's what I'm saying. Like, when it comes to love, like, you're op I feel like you're open to it, whatever comes towards you. But right now, you're really just focused on yourself, which is a great thing. Because the more you focus on yourself and, you know, you, you make healthier decisions for yourself, you know, you elevate, you raise your vibration. That is the type of partner that you will attract. You will attract what is meant to match your vibe, okay? So if you're still sitting in, like, you know, that lower energy, okay, because it's and some, your pre-shuffle, the devil was there. So I felt like, you know, you guys probably had some codependency issues or some addiction. Somebody slightly obsessed or you obsessed with a situation or obsessing over a situation. I feel that, you know, if you, if you still walk around or linger with that same energy, you'll attract that same type of person again into your love life. Right now is a good time, as I feel you guys are doing, to take care of yourself, to focus on yourself, you know, really... 
take the time to journal and write down what it is that you want in a relationship and a partner rather, you know, someone that you want to build, grow and bond with, you know, especially with this new moon. Get ready to set your intentions. I feel like you guys are already on the path to like, you know, to better yourself, to raise your vibration, to attract a more loving, caring, understanding partner. So, yeah. The cross watcher has hand of cards. They're taking a risk, okay? They're kind of trying to be st strategic, not show their hand. <clears throat> so I'm picking up for a lot of you guys. You may, this person who is trying to come in towards you, you may not even know that they're trying to come towards you, okay? Like, I don't feel like, they, they have a good poker face. Um, I just picked up like a slight like gaslighting energy. And that could be select few of you who might know who this person is or might have an inkling and feel like this person wants you, but you're not quite sure because it kind of feels like a gaslighting situation. They're just, I feel that this person is just really afraid here. I feel that especially like, you know, if you, if you're, um, if you are like in like far, like extremely like far as healing stages from your last relationship or say you're like completely healed or you're like 90% healed and you're like at this elevation that is like, like you're glowing, you're beaming, it's starting to show, like people see the changes in you since you have detached yourself from things that no longer serve you. It's like this person looks at you like you're a goddess or like, you know, you're almost untouchable. I almost wanna feel like this energy at sometimes feels that you're too good to be true or you're too good for them. And that's why they, it's like they're having a hard time trying to approach you here. Yeah, underneath you have the golden mirror, self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing, okay, so you could definitely feel this way about this energy about this person like it's just you or whatever if it is somebody that you know that you deal with and they're not showing everything if it's new energy but i also feel that this person wants to come in and they want to love on you they want to be there they want to take care of you like they want to absorb themselves in you they just don't know how to play their cards right and to come into your life because they see like to them you look so complete and so together and it's like they don't want to come and mess with perfection like they see perfection in you I do see here where you guys have really been taking your time here and going through your journey, going through the process, processing things, okay? Yeah, positive transformation taking place right now with you guys, okay? Like I said, whatever it is that, you know, some of you guys are still holding on to the shoulda, coulda, woulda. Like, you need to balance that out. Like, if it ain't happen, like, and I feel like a lot of you guys know, yeah, you lost issues. A lot of you guys already know like why something didn't work out, like you keep replaying it, you need to take some time to yourself, like seriously, go talk to some friends or whatever, maybe you need to get a therapist because I said, like a lot of you guys know, maybe you just need to get it out to someone. Again, that journaling helps, reading it, burning it, okay? So you can release, cut the cords, okay? Craftsmanship, as I say, cut the cords, okay? Lots of prayer I'm feeling is needed, so. So we'll get five cards here, spirit. Five cards here on cancer and their person. Yeah, legal matters and contracts. Some of you guys might be married. Might have just gotten out of a divorce here. Or your person. Okay. See where there could be some issues with some assets. Yeah. Like a home, living situation, some money or whatever. But don't you fear. Do not worry. Your dreams are coming true. Things will work out for you. Especially when it comes to your money matters. All these things will work out. Okay. Um, I just feel like somebody could be going through a tough situation, like a tough separation as well with the past person. I do see here you're getting center and balance, okay? Taking a stand, standing up for yourself. This could also be your person who's trying to come in, because I feel like there's a, somebody is in a relationship and trying to come out of it, okay? But there's like so much assets and things to come out or like to separate or whatever, I don't want to necessarily say like an ugly divorce or an ugly separation, but I kind of felt that, you know, um, that Capricorn, that devil energy gave me a lot, like codependency, addiction, like obsession, like somebody making it hard to let go, somebody holding on, okay? This could be you or your person coming in, but there's an energy that is still around. It's a past, an ex energy, something that somebody has to deal with here that they have to get out of because it's like the dreams are coming true here. And I feel that this this outside energy knows this as this is coming down and coming apart here i do feel that whoever definitely has to get out of some legal sort of situation that is um not the greatest 
um, they are finding the balance. They are getting centered. They are getting the support from their family, their friends. They are getting the help that they need, okay? As I said, let your friends help you. They are getting the help that they need so that they can get out of the situation. Yeah, because they're coming towards this be new beginning, this new fresh start here with you or vice versa here, okay? Yeah, you've inspired or they've inspired you. I fi really feel like you could have inspired this person because they're not showing everything. And I feel like what they're not showing is that they're, they're going through a sticky situation that they're trying to get out of as well, okay? Yeah, look at that. Ten of Cups and a Two of Cups, okay? This is beautiful. This is like soulmate energy. Look at that. Empress. They want to have a family with you. Like, they see everything in you. Like I said, that's how they look at you. You make them happy, okay? They, like, that's why it's hard for them to approach you. Look, they're in their head about you. It's hard for them to approach you because... It's like the healing that you've done already from your la your ex or whatever, like, you just, you're, to them, you seem too good to be true. It's just you seem too good to be true. And like I said, this person might be married and they're trying to, like, wait for the right timing or, you know, try to get this handled, you know, to get out of the situation. Or, again, even understanding and knowing that meeting you was a blessing, okay? Right, yeah, they're being blocked. I feel like they're being watched possibly as well by their spouse. Or ex-spouse, yeah, being watched in our house home. Oh. Let's see. We'll pull a quick six-card spread. Let's see what these poppers are. Yeah, but this person is really having the strength to try to come towards you. Could be dealing with a Leo or another or another water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But I feel like this person is really trying to come through and have the strength to um offer some sort of emotional connection with you or emotional relationship here. I feel like they no longer want to deal with what they are dealing with. They know that it's blocking them from something true and they really want to try to come towards you. You guys want to pop, 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 pop. Yeah, they're in the head about you, Queen of Cups. That's the match. They know they got to make a move here, but I just really feel like they're afraid. They're afraid of, you know, what people will think, what people will say. Okay, of this devil, okay, this obsessed person. The fool wanted to jump out, let me know that they do want to come forward. They want to take this leap of faith. So, let's see. Okay. We got the high priestess, the star card energy, and the nine of wands. So, yeah. You guys really followed your intuition here and made these moves, like I said, okay? You did the work, the shadow work. Um, you went within yourself, seeing what needed to change. You started to make these changes. You're now in a healing stage. Could be done with a Pisces or an Aquarius here. But I see in the end, like I said, you might, be hold, you, you might have your guard up because this person, you might feel like they're playing games, okay? Um, but it's just that they're going through some things and they can't, Show you your full, show you their full hand, because I feel that this also could be them being guarded, and that they don't. There could be some things about this person that they worry that will make you look at them in a less lesser appeal. Okay, like they're really defensive on trying to protect what it is that they're keeping. I don't feel like it's anything horrible. Like I said, it could be you know a relationship or a facade you know, something that's going on in the background. Maybe that they didn't tell you, like, the, the whole story. Like, they told you pieces, or maybe it's like, you know, they try to make it seem like, oh, it's not that bad, when it's really that bad, but it's like they don't... It's either like they don't want to worry you, or they don't want you to get tied up on them. Like, they're also trying to heal and fix their situation before they come towards you, because they want this to be, like, clean slate, perfect. No one comes in and interrupts, because they see you as an empress. You, like, ideally the center energy would be that you guys are healing. Like, they want this to be perfect. This is like wish fulfillment, essentially, as well, okay? This is like a dream come true. Truly, this is the dream come true, you guys meeting each other, especially if you have met this person. I feel like some of you guys may have dreamt this person, not necessarily met this person as of yet. You could have met this person, or you feel like this person, is, this energy is coming towards you, Okay? Yeah, you got death. You just keep going through your transformation. I also could be dealing with a Scorpio here. But just keep doing what it is that you're doing. 
you know, ending the cycles that no longer like assist you or are helping you elevate. Just continue to make the healthy choices that you're doing. You're on the right path. Like it is ushering in the love that you desire here. Yeah, because here is the cross watcher. Here's your partner. They're making head over heart decisions. They're getting balanced. They're getting grounded. They are protected. Um, if you talk to this, like just reassure them that everything will be okay if this is somebody that you are in contact with. Okay, and like I said, you may not know the whole story on this person, okay, but um, they are balancing things out. I do see that divine timing is at play here. You just have to allow the universe to do what it's doing. Yeah, because the third party is getting cut out because that that's like that's how they want to do it. It's like doing things right. It's like, no, like you're not going to be the side. You're not going to be seen as anything of this, like... I'm going to deal what I need to deal with first before I come towards you because you're empress and I'm not going to treat you like, you know, queen of wands in reverse type energy or like you're a queen of cups in reverse. I have no self-love because I know that you have healed. You have taken care of yourself. You're you're looking, you're doing good. I don't want to come in. This person doesn't want to come in and necessarily like and like tarnish you. OK, that's what I'm getting. Yeah, because like I said, they're dealing with the devil, some codependencies here, some toxicity, some somebody who is obsessed, okay? Could even be somebody who they slightly fear. Capricorn energy there. We also got Sagittarius out on the board, all right? But I see here, Cancer, that the ball is in your court, okay? The ball is in your court. You're working. Just keep working on yourself, okay? Things may actually start to look better and pick up with you and this person around the summertime. I do see that you guys might take a trip, okay? But it's just that right now, this person just really has to get it together. Like, they have to do some healing within themselves as well, okay? Before they can add some to you, they need to work on themselves. So, Spirit, we thank you as we close out for our cancers. We have one card, please, from the Akashic Tarot. Thank you. Yeah, the Queen of Keys. You do not need to come to this person's rescue, okay? Whoever this is. And that's also the energy of you. Like I said, some of you guys could have also been married, okay? And you are getting a divorce because you are no longer committed to your situation as well with that death energy letting it go. But, um, yeah, aside from that, you do not need to come to this person's rescue, okay? You just do you. Um, you, you control the key to your own city. Don't try to be the key to everybody else's city right now. You ain't got that in you. Continue healing and working on you. Because like I said, this person, they, they can't really offer you the love right now. And that's why there's such a guard up because, and that's why they're also like the hand of cards. They're playing smart or trying to play wise because they know that they still have something else that they need to get rid of before they can truly offer you the full cup of love that you are worth. OK, and it's not even so much that you desire because I feel like this person wants to give it to you, but they can't until they can get rid of whatever is going on this third party until they can get rid of this third party. All right. So, yes, cancer has been your message. I know you guys know what to do with this until the next time we speak. Peace out.